Uh, if I was coaching either the left back or the right back, dealing with basically three strikers playing against a 4 3 3 system, the information I'd probably give if we concentrated on the left back, obviously, it's a position that's dear to my heart. The information I would give to him was your centre halves don't need a great deal of help. They're two on one here, so they're responsible. One of them always tight on that, the other one offering a little bit of uh, cover. So they don't need you to drop in here when the ball's on the opposite side. In the main, your responsibility is always the wide player. So really, no matter where the ball is, within reason, so if, if the ball's on this side of the pitch, let's say, you're going to want him to offer some cover, but not as much as probably if they had two strikers. And his responsibility then is to stay with this player wherever he goes. So if he goes wide, your responsibility is when that ball arrives at his feet, you should be arriving touch tight at the same time and not letting him turn. If he comes inside, which they tend to do nowadays and find some space, go with him and the responsibility of your wide player is to go with the fullback. So you have to have confidence all the time that, look, he is my responsibility. If he stays wide and the ball arrives at him, I have to arrive at the same time. If he comes off his line and drops into this shape, stay with him. If he drops into the midfield area, stay with him. If at any stage he goes too far and beyond, let's say, the, our midfield line, let him go and recover your position. That's what information I would give him. If he drops inside then, obviously it's a shout to your, your centre half, player on, and then he would come into that area, he would then mark him and you would offer a touch more cover as you normally would playing against a 4-4-2 system. That would be the information I would give you.